And LPS has come up a couple times, and I want to get in and explain what that is. And you mentioned it's a culprit for causing leaky gut. So first explain where it comes from, what it does, and how do we avoid having that issue? Well, LPS, 1.7 million people a year in the U.S. get sepsis. Sepsis is the number one cause of death in hospitals in the U.S., and over 250,000 people a year die from sepsis in the hospital. Sepsis is the accumulation of LPS over decades that we house this toxic exhaust from bad bacteria. And the study showed it accumulates in your lymph nodes and in, in, under your arm and in your inguinal area. It accumulates in your spleen, in your liver. It's in your brain. When they do autopsy on people who died of Alzheimer's and they look at the plaque in the brain, it's loaded with antibodies to LPS. So LPS got into the brain. And it's a very toxic, inflammatory compound. If you want to think about LPS, how potent is it? When you start a charcoal fire, some people will squirt charcoal lighter fluid um, on the coals. They light a match and they throw it on there. Sometimes the match doesn't catch. And you have to light another match and lay it gently down on the coals, angling so the fire stays, you know, the flame keeps going. And you squirt the charcoal lighter fluid on the coals next to the lit match. If you squirt the charcoal lighter fluid on the, on the flame, it douses the flame and puts it out, right? Have, have you ever had that experience yourself? Yeah, for sure. It's a pretty common thing. What would happen if you had squirted gasoline on those coals and threw a match on there? Boom. LPS is gasoline in your body. Highly inflammatory, high immune response to this toxic crud that, that accumulates in a dysbiotic gut. So the more out of balance your gut is, where there's not enough of the good, see the good bacteria, just by numbers in your gut, suppress the bad guys. The competition for food, the good bacteria wins every time, unless you've wiped out or reduced the good bacteria. And that happens when you take antibiotics and things like that. And then the bad bacteria can rear their ugly head. They produce LPS, which is one of the two most powerful triggers in creating intestinal permeability. And that stuff gets through the leaky gut into the bloodstream, and it sets up shop wherever, it, you know, the blood's a highway. So wherever the LPS pulls over, if it pulls over in your spleen, you accumulate there. Then you get antibodies attacking the LPS in your spleen. You get inflammation in your spleen or you get inflammation in your brain. Those are people in their 30s and 40s to say, you know what? I'm getting old. I don't remember the way I used to. Well, how old are you? Well, I'm 36. Well, that's not supposed to happen. There's something going on there. There's inflammation going on, right? So LPS is a real nasty and the cool thing, a really cool thing, is in the wheat zoomer, that blood test I talked about that is so great, and it's even now a finger prick test. You don't even have to go to the doctor to get the blood draw. You just get a finger prick, and it's same accuracy. That the wheat zoomer is also contains the most comprehensive test for intestinal permeability, and they check for LPS. So you can get all that done in one blood test. So that's, it's very cool. Very cool. And you share in your book, Dr. Tom, I know this is really personal, but your mother actually passed from LPS. So you have a really personal connection to this. And and I'm so sorry to hear that well, about your mom, you. but thank you, so much. you you do have a real connection to this topic. Yeah, you bet. You bet. And uh, I just watched her go and nothing, nothing I could do at the time. Absolutely nothing. And, uh, uh, but it's, that's why I dialed this down. I mean, I really understand this one. When I do a presentation to docs on LPS, they sit there and their jaws drop. They've just never seen these studies before. They don't have time to go looking around for all these studies like I did out of necessity. And then, you know, I do an LPS presentation and they're all convinced afterwards, I need to check this. I need to check this for me and my family and I need to be aware of this for our patients. 
very common feedback that we get. And that's where the Zoomer test comes in. That's exactly right. 